Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who have not been here before, my name is Tracy Mayhew and I write sweet contemporary romances set here in the UK and YA fantasy. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, basically, I'm gonna it's going to be a day in the life of an author blog, vlog thing, which I've never done before, so uh, it'll be a bit of a learning curve for me, another one. Um, but that's what I'm doing with this YouTube channel. I am trying new things learning new skills, um, and so yeah, I thought I would take you along, because I've got a busy day ahead. Um, first of all, I've got to go and sort out a new battery for my Apple Mac computer, because my laptop, because um, a few months now it's been on the blink, and um, yeah, it needs replacing. Um, I've known that, um, but now it, I can put it on for like an hour, two hours at a time, and then it shuts down completely. So I'm like, it, it's not feasible anymore. I need it to work properly. So last week I booked an appointment with the Apple Gurus. Um, so I'm heading off there today to speak to them and hopefully get them sorted, get it sorted. Um, there may be a trip to a bookshop involved. There will be a trip to a bookshop involved, <laughs> definitely. Um, so there may be a bit of a book haul at the end of this if I'm lucky enough to find something that I like. I have a list of books that I'm interested in so I'm going to take that with me and see if I can pick up any of those in the bookshop. Um, I'm also taking my iPad my iPad and my keyboard with me just in case. I don't know how long this battery service thing is going to last so I want to be fully prepared. If I'm there for a couple of hours I'll be able to find a coffee shop or somewhere that I can sit and write and hopefully um, I'll get some writing done as well. So, you know, killing two birds with one stone, that's fantastic. I've hit a point in my story where I'm kind of getting back into it again, so I'm really excited to just keep that momentum going. Um, so, yeah, so I will take you along for the whole day and uh, see see what we can, see what I can get done. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's see. I'll see you on the other side. As you can see, I'm starting to pack my bag right now. So I'm making sure that my laptop goes in there, obviously, I need that for my change of battery. In goes my iPad for any writing that I'm going to get done, and my portable keyboard. Um, and then I've also got my charger, because I'm not sure if the Apple shop's going to need my charger, so that's going to go in there as well. Bags are packed, and off I go. Hope you all enjoyed coming along on my day out with me. Um, you may notice that this is a completely different day, uh, mostly because I forgot when I was doing the filming to actually film the book haul that I got at Waterstones, so that's what I'm doing now. So I'm going to walk you through the books that I got at Waterstones. So the first book is Stoneblind by Natalie Haynes. I've always wanted to try one of her books. I love Greek mythology and the idea of reading a story about Medusa just really intrigues me so I'm really excited about this story. The next book was a bit of a different book for me. This one is uh, called In the Blink of an Eye and it's by someone, it's by a lady called Joe Callahan, um, and it's a crime book but it's got like an AI element to it so I think I think the human detective 
joins forces with an AI detective, which I thought was quite intriguing as well. I thought that would kind of reminds me of some of the sci-fi films that I've seen over the past few years. Um, so I thought that might be quite an interesting read, something a little bit different. Um, the next book I got, I think this was YA, A Cruel Twist of Fate by H.F. Asquith. And it seems like it's a bit more of a mystery than fantasy or anything like that. So I thought that would be quite interesting. And again, not something that I would generally go for, but I read the first couple of pages while I was in Waterstones and I was really intrigued by the whole idea of it and the way that she writes really well. So I thought this might be a good book to try. Um, this was one of the books that I actually went to Waterstones for. So Peter V. Brett, The Painted Man. Um, I love these covers. I've quite I've liked them for so long and it's been on my TBR list for absolutely forever and I thought before I left I kind of wrote out a list of some of the books I wanted and this one was one of my main ones and when I saw that I just I was just like yep gotta get gotta get that one um so yeah that would be quite an interesting one to read I'm really looking forward to starting that series this is the first uh the first book in the series um it's got demons and things like that so it's very fantasy um and this is again, this is another one that's intrigued me over the year, over the most recent years, God Killer by Hannah Kainer. Um, I love the the cover. Sorry, that light is really really playing on that gold boiling, isn't it? Um, I really like the cover and I was told when I bought it that this was first in I think a trilogy. Um I didn't realise that when I bought it. I thought it was a I thought it was a standalone. So now that I know that it's a trilogy, I'm quite I'm really excited to get into this and look at the artwork in this book I think that's beautiful um I would love to do something like that in my own books one day but again another learning curve I'll figure it out in you know uh, when as and when the time comes um so yeah they were my books they're the books I'm really looking forward to putting on my bookshelf and getting started with this year um just to let you know that this will probably be the last uh video for a little while a couple of weeks I will be back in April with a brand new video but I'm dis I've decided to kind of take a step back for a little while, just because February was such a such a challenging month for me health-wise. I didn't get as much progress done on Lessons in Love as I would have liked to. Um, so I'm thinking that now I, I need to concentrate on the story. Um, so that's what I'm doing for March, basically. Um, I'm pre-recording this, I'm pre-uploading it and scheduling it so that I don't have to worry about it um, after the first weekend in March. So I'm just taking March off. And I will be back in April, first week of April, which in the UK is Easter Monday. Um, so yeah, I will be back then with a brand new video. Um, but until then, you can catch playlists for the book nook. So if you want to check out any of the books I've been reading since I've started this channel, you can check that out over here, I think. <laughs> Forgot where I was there for a minute. Um, uh, but until then, I will see you in April with a brand new video. Bye.